Hey Pisces, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. And you may know already, but here at this channel, we are here to help you lead a whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. And I am here, right, for your December 2020 general reading. I know it's a little late, but it's still appropriate. The Pisces, December 2020. We, at the time of the recording of this, we just passed the new moon in Sagittarius. Holy cats. Uh, so complete total solar eclipse. Um, we're coming up on the Jupiter, Saturn, I got to say Pluto. Jupiter Pluto conjunction here in Aquarius um, at zero degrees, basically. Aquarius um, and that's happening here in less than a week so I wanted to be sure I got this out to you guys so we could get this December out here and we can start also looking forward towards the close to the end of the month we're gonna be using two different um, Oracle decks we've got the sacred destiny Oracle deck on this side we have the work your light Oracle deck on this side and then in the middle for clarification purposes oh let's make this I don't want to be pulling all reversals we are going to be using the Thelema um, tarot deck. So let's pull Sacred Destiny Oracle for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2020. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I, oops, <laughs> I'm all upside down today. I have Delight. I kind of like that for you, Pisceans. Delight. Let me make sure these are, okay, good. And now we're going to pull one of the work your light. Work your light. So one, please, for Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to. Look at that beautiful. That's beautiful, isn't it? Pisces, at the end of this year, this calendar year, certainly not the end of the zodiac year, it's time to allow yourself the latitude, the freedom to find happiness and delight in life. It's time for you to be at peace with what has occurred throughout this tumultuous year for you. Because there was some need for some things. How would I put this? Everything we know, Pisces, happens for a reason and for a purpose and sometimes a lot of times especially this year it feels like there have been a lot of things that have been removed from our general area in order to enact freedom in order to bring about the freedom to move. Chapters have been closing in all of our lives and perhaps a little bit more in the Piscean life. And I say perhaps a little bit more in the Piscean life just because it is, right, 12th house energy that you guys embody. And part of that 12th house energy are endings. It is right before the new beginning, which is the sign of Aries. So a lot of what you will go through feels like, sometimes I think for some of you, it feels like a perpetual ending. Like you're never really holding on to any one thing for any long, lengthy period of time. And that there's a continual amount of chapters that are closing. I think a lot of that has to do with simply where you're placed in the Zodiac, where you came here this time. 
in the evolutionary cycle of a human of humanity and there's a lot of there's a lot of energies that were needing to be cleared there's a lot of finalities to issues or concepts that you've had to come with a um, that finally needed some resolution and understanding and and it's just time now for that to have happened and as hard as it is for us to allow the chapter to close we have to learn to then allow the next chapter to begin we have to begin to look at these chapters that have closed in our lives with whatever method or level of conclusion and resolution and completion that we are afforded. We have to then begin to look into them deeper and find the lesson, the beauty. Be grateful for the good that came from it be grateful for the good that came through it and move forward. And then take, as we're moving forward, we take this energy and we transmute the good, the bad, the indifferent, but we transmute it and, and integrate it into our foundation as life lessons and as karmic resolutions and clearings and lessons. And then begin the journey through the ascension process because there's a lot of my light worker Pisces sun moon and somewhat of the rising I will say but there's a lot of my light worker Pisces as as light workers in general are coming through this ascension process that we are all of us collectively are being called to journey we're being called to rise we're being called to raise our vibration we're being called to go places We've not gone before in our life of independence, our life of agency, our life of self-knowledge and self-responsibility. We're being called to go to these places. So where are you being called to journey to? What magical lands, what dimensions what next level up, right? On your ascension journey, are you being called to? We have the Knight of Cups coming towards you. Um, this is definitely, right, water energy. Yourself, Cancer or Scorpio. I do see that as, you know, right, offers coming in. You're gonna be presented with options from spirit. And Spirit's going to present you with these options in various ways. Whatever way it's going to resonate with you. And some of you have already been getting these offers. And you're taking them and you're running with them. But there's more. So even if you've gotten like initial offers, just know there's more coming. <laughs> Queen of Swords, you are really ready. You're bringing the energy of I'm ready to live my truth. I'm ready to live a balanced, beautiful life. I'm ready to live my truth. My priestess, this is sometimes your, um, considered your card as well, your major arcana card. That's in the position of what it could be a possible problem or something to overcome. And with the energy that's going to help you overcome it is the higher font. Yeah, I see that completely now. And let's get an outcome or advice. The wheel. Wheel's been coming up a lot. So we're moving into a much better time, okay? We're moving into a prosperous time. We're moving into an abundant time. We're moving into a holistic time, a healthy time. So Pisces, don't lose faith. The Knight of Cups, Spirit is bringing you offers. Other people are gonna be coming along the path to assist you. Um, you're being asked, are you ready to go? You ready to get on the horse and you ready to go? Um, you're going to have to choose a sword's face the decision of am I going to move or am I going to stay? 
and um, I believe spirit is also helping you find the strength to be able to go to this uncharted territory because it can be scary but gosh darn it it's going to be freeing it's going to be wonderful with this queen of swords we have the ten of pentacles and we have the queen of cups listen this is creative innovative beautiful loving energy coming towards you the energy of love and creation and light love and light coming towards you to do what ten of pentacles to prosper you in every area of your life it's been dark it's been dreary pisces it's been hurtful it's been painful and spirit saying i know but you had to come through this to get to where you're gonna go there had to be some some energies that we just needed to bring to conclusion because you have to be free to move you have to be free to go you have to be free to live your life and your purpose but you needed to continue to complete the experience before you can move toward to the next now this and not following your intuition and not being certain right that kind of mutable water <laughs> that could be a little bit of a you might be feeling like you during this month you're kind of are, am i getting in 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 the way of myself am i not willing to just take that page of pentacles and do things in a new way create a new create a new foundation am i not willing to do that right is my ship really coming in with this three of wands and i hear some of you saying do i really deserve it like is this really for me and then we've got the higher font here have faith have faith your steadfast and unmovable faith is what's going to help you hurt the hermit card you're doing your study let me tell you something you might need to kind of go be by yourself for a little bit too don't do a complete deep dive please pisces but you might need to separate yourself from a few other people that you've yet to. You might need to seek out mentorship, teaching, assistance in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Don't be ashamed to do it. But have faith in all the knowledge that you've thus far gained and the experiences and the wisdom that it's going to prove to help you in the end. The Knight of Pentacles. Yes, it's fine to be careful along the way and slow and steady wins the race it doesn't all have to be immediate okay it does not have to be immediate and this five of swords it's been this is really running around in your brain like this is hard this is a hard concept i've been through so much but that but for some of you it's time to be honest with yourself about why maybe you know certain relationships don't last Um, for some of you, why am I alone? Are you choosing to be alone? Are you self-sabotaging and not able to really enter into and find your partner? H have you had a partner that's presented themselves to you and you just kind of, you know, d deep dive? Right? It's conflicting. And every time that there's growth that's net that's that's coming, it always is conflicting because it's unknown, and so that sometimes it's very difficult. And you're questioning yourself whether or not it's like all in your head; it's a complete illusion, or is it real? Have you disillusioned yourself? And all I can say is have faith in what you know to be true, which is that you have a purpose, a plan. And a lot of you know your purpose or at least have a good idea about where you're supposed to go with it. And so it's time, man. Like have faith in what you've already heard and what you know. And have faith that spirit's going to help bring you through whatever healing and that the right people are going to be in your space, the healing and the um prosperity the abundance the 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 peacefulness that you're that you're being asked to have oh my goodness i didn't even look at the card and some of you there's gonna there's a relationship along the way and there's a, some really good and and foundational soulmate connections that are coming in towards you and there's also this energy right this offer over here spirit is offering you your angels are offering you your ancestors your spirit guides are offering you assistance please take it 
they're offering you support please take it they're offering you an elevation of the love frequency that created all and creates all within you and outside of you please accept it at this this christmas time right please accept it and finally the wheel the wheel turns in your favor as you uh, as you walk into and enter into in a full way coming into 2021 your life purpose and you finally decide i'm going to live it no matter what you <laughs> two of wands you finally decide you're going to enter enter this path right no matter what like you're going to go for it you're going to do it bright new ideas new way of looking at life new way of thinking with the ace of swords no longer feeling five of pentacles left out in the cold you're going to come in from the outside Yes, you've been through the tower. You've been through everything being shaken that could be shaken, but you're still standing, King of Cups. You are still standing. And stand in the fullness and the knowledge of who you are, loving yourself fully. Right? Accepting yourself fully. Walking the walk and talking the talk. You can do this. Where are you being called to journey to, Pisces? Come on, let's go. Pisces, that's my reading for you. Thank you for sticking around. I so much appreciate it. Um, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Uh, just a few things going on. I'm having a reduction in pricing for my Be The Light, my next Be The Light virtual retreat that's happening in January. Um, January 15th through the 17th of 2021. Kick off your year right we're coming into that knowledge, right? So we're going to do some Reiki attunement. I'm going to talk about and teach quantum meditation and manifestation. Going to um, talk about spiritual warfare, all sorts of, of, of things um, to help elevate you to this, to light worker um, as your walk in your walk as a light worker. Um, and you can email me or find that information, I should say, at www.heartofinspiration.net right now tickets through december 31st are just 297 dollars they were 497 dollars and it is over a 1200 dollars value so you can't go wrong a tenth of the price good lord you know let's do this um and also if you are you know a light worker right now and you're like i'm just not sure where to go next i need some additional assistance well the light worker academy not only are we putting on the be the light virtual retreat but we now have a master class that is an ongoing master class um the space is not just only limited but we need to have a consultation um so that i can we can determine whether or not it's a fit so if you're ready to further identify clarify and prosper from your purpose um in your purpose then uh, let's do this. Let's get you launched into your purpose. I want you to email me at info at lightworkeracademy.net, info at lightworkeracademy.net, and just put in the title, interested in masterclass. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you very, very much. Namaste. Bye-bye.